This is something that I don't even follow all the time. Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk to you about a couple of apron etiquette rules and then also just share something that I'm looking forward to today as well as the fact that I now have new aprons for sale over on Etsy. So why not share a couple of apron rules with you? Okay, the first one, which I'm sure pretty much all of you know, but I'm sure there are many of you out there that don't know this, it is that it is in poor etiquette to wear your apron at the table. So when you are serving everyone, when you're cooking, you know, you're just, I mean, you want to protect your clothes and everything, but when once you sit down to the table, make sure that you take off your apron. This is something that I don't even follow all the time. And you know, it's one of those things that I'm just like, eh, you know, if, if I do, I do. If I don't, and you know, what's, what's the big deal? But uh, just so you know, this is an etiquette rule. And so if this is something that you knew, please let me know in the comments below. If it's something that you didn't know, also please let me know in the comments below. And I just think that, you know, some of these things are really there. It's good to know, kind of like with that whole letter writing thing, it's good to know. Does that mean that, you know, I think everybody has to know, and I wouldn't even look at somebody differently if they, if they didn't follow these etiquette rules. I know some people do though. Some people really turn their nose up at somebody if they don't follow all of these rules and whatnot. But um, I think, you know, when we have our heart in the right place, it's like we may follow something, but it's not that big of a deal to us if somebody else doesn't follow this kind of rule, so to speak. So um, the other one is to make sure that you don't wear your apron when you are mop, um, like on your hands and knees doing something on the floor, like scrubbing the floor, or if you're just doing something down there, because what can happen is it can get caught under your knee and then it will end up pulling on your neck. And um, I break this rule too. I even broke that rule on Monday when I did my cleaning video. But that apron wasn't, it didn't go below my knees. But the idea is that if you're really leaning over, you can end up putting your knee on the apron and then it, it could hurt you in that way. So um, that is another rule. If you know of another rule, please leave it in the comments below. There, uh, there are other rules out there. I did check, but um, I just thought that that would be good for for those who didn't know to know and decide for yourself if it's something that you're going to follow or not. And um, let's see, yes, don't forget that if you are looking to purchase one of the aprons that I've had made, please go over to my Etsy shop. I have it linked in the description box below. Last time those aprons did not last very long. And I wanted to let you know that if you're searching for a really wonderful, a Christmas gift to give somebody, especially if they like florals, then I'm sure that they would like the aprons that I've had made. And they make really great gifts for newlyweds because, um, you know, someone who's getting into their own home and, you know, it's just one of those really fun gifts to give that they can enjoy and just look forward to doing all of the things that need to be done around the home. So anyway, um, today I'm looking forward to my mom coming over because she's going to be staying out in the tiny house that she had previously been, you know, living out there before. But um, for a while now, she's been living at my grandparents and um, she's coming over this weekend to stay and we've spent last night we started getting everything set up over there and then today i have a little bit more to do it's i mean the time is getting away from me it's already later on in the day so i have several things that i want to do before um before she gets here this evening and i i filmed a lot of it to show my patrons so if that's if you would like to see a little tour of that area be sure to subscribe to my Patreon channel and you will get to see that pretty soon as well. So um, I just, I always look forward to doing something for her, you know, like I know all the different things that she likes. So when I was at Trader Joe's today, I got her a bunch of snacks and, um, you know, some beautiful flowers that I'm going to be putting in there. She loves um, 
the lilies and just the the wonderful scent that they have and so I'm going to be putting those in there so that it smells so good when she walks in and um, you know her music will be playing and I just think it'll be such a relaxing time for her so that's something I'm looking forward to the, uh, tonight and then also tomorrow you know making her a nice breakfast and just enjoying our porch time together doing as much as I can just to make her you know feel at peace and just be happy and serve her I just I love serving her and, and she loves to be served so <laughs> that's just something I'm looking forward to tonight let me know what you're looking forward to or what little thing made your day today and with that I'm going to leave you with just a little bit of a fashion show of these aprons that I will be that I will be selling over on Etsy and um, I would really appreciate your support over there. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please leave me any etiquette rules that you know of for aprons. And I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone.